What's up everybody, it's Rafi from Zurb, and in this video we're going to go over the equalizer component in Foundation. Now you may or may not know of equalizer, but if you want to make your columns equal height, then equalizer is the ticket for that. So something like this where we have equal height containers. Now this is really easy to do in Flexbox because Flexbox does this out of the box. and we recommend that you use Flexbox because it's really awesome and it's supported in pretty much all the major browsers. But if you still have to support an older browser, then Equalizer will help you in this instance. So Equalizer uses JavaScript to find the tallest uh, container and then in the same row make the other child containers or sibling containers, sorry, uh, the same height. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use that, an example of using it on columns and then other containers as well. So I put a, a light blue background on the column them itself. And in this um, row column system here, I have uh, callouts inside of the column. So the callouts are this white um, box with a border. So I'm going to show you that you could put it on multiple different containers. So I'm going to start with data-equalizer. So this is going to be set at the parent level. So any container that is holding the child elements that you want to be equal height. So that in this case, that's this row. So data-equalizer. And then on the columns themselves, I'm going to put data-equalizer-watch. Now this is not a class, it is a data attribute that tells the JavaScript, hey, I want you to look for the tallest column and make all the sibling columns in this row the same height. And you can see that that totally works. So now all our columns have the same height. Now that doesn't stretch the content inside of the columns, what that does is just make sure that um, our columns are the same height in case we do have like this background color now everything's lining up nicely or if we want to pin an item to the bottom of one of these columns like a button or something we can do that now um, responsively now equalizer is um, also not on by default on a small screen but you can make it on by default on a small screen so if we hop over to our example here, we can actually uh, do this um, in, a, in a responsive manner. So there are a couple different configurations that you can use with the JavaScript data attributes. So let's jump down to the JavaScript data attributes and check those out. So one thing we want to do is maybe we want this to equalize on small. Now you wouldn't always want this to happen and by default it does not equalize on small uh, because then you might have big content gaps uh, that you would have here. So let's go ahead and add the data dash equalize on stack data attribute. And if we set that to true, now it's going to allow us to equalize when the items stack. So this is mainly for small screens. You can see that now um, equalizer is set on a small screen as well. And it does create huge content gaps uh, because the tallest column is dictating that height. That's up to you if that works correctly, if that works for your content. So uh, you have that option available there. And you can also use the equalizer on a block grid as well. So I'll show you that section here. So this is an example of using it on a block grid. What happens in a block grid is that you have multiple columns. You could have way more than 12 columns in a row. You could have um, them wrapping to different lines. And to be able to handle that, um, there is a JavaScript data attribute that is data-equalize by row. So if you use that, then that actually allows this to equalize on multiple rows. So each row will get an equal height, um, depending on the tallest item in each row. 
Now, this works pretty much exactly like Flexbox works. So it is um, very natural if you've used Flexbox before or if you haven't and you're switching over to Flexbox, this is how it works. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, I also want to show you that you can use this on other elements other than a column. So right now we have the data dash equalizer watch on columns. But if we go ahead and remove that from the columns, and let's move that down to the callouts. So we'll add that to the callouts. Now the callouts are a container inside of the columns. So we can do that and now make the callouts equal height. So it just depends on what works better for your content, but uh, you can see that this is a very flexible component and it can work on any container and make them equal height. So that is the equalizer component in foundation. We teach this in our foundation intro class along with all the other components in foundation. So if you want a deep dive, check that out. I'll put the link below. And thanks for watching.